Ooh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Rios! So, real quick, if we go to the unlocks section, as you can see, at level 1, we still only have two um, achievements or unlocks or whatever you have left to complete. Uh, we've got all these other ones, the Forest Tribe, Desert Tribe, Swamp Tribe, all these. I'm pretty sure like we, we have all these other ones. So we just have the Chosen People and the Aristocracy. Right? Aristocracy. And the Chosen People is finish an era with only one village, which has 175 prosperity. An aristocracy is finish of an era with a village of 150 prosperity using only animals and minerals. And if we go over to sources, you can see at level 1, we only have two animals left to unlock. The uh, Havelina and the Musk Deer. And there's actually some animals at level 2 that we have unlocked that require the Musk Deer to get. And we don't have it yet. So what I'm going to do is this video, we're actually going to go ahead and just bang out a real quick uh, 30 minute era. As you can see, since we had the level 3, we have the 120 minute era unlocked, but we're just going to go ahead and do a real quick 30 minute era. I'm going to go ahead and try to complete those two challenges specifically. We might get a few more out of the way, but uh, mostly going to be those two. Yeah. So we're going to have six villages like we normally do, but... We're not going to develop them very far, like, at all. So the first thing we want to do... What are you doing? Come on, buddy. No, what did I click? I clicked on something. I had, oh, I had him fire off his Aurora wave. Somehow. Somehow. Oop, it's too far. Back in there. Alright, go ahead and throw down a forest. Animals. Go ahead and throw down a swamp. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have a big boy here. Can make me a mountain. Alright, so we got our first village. Animals and minerals, right? Right. So we got a granary. Granary needs food. And ah, crap. Its bonus is plants, so it's not gonna be this village. Uh, but I will go ahead and throw down some plants. Uh, swamp thing here can only do. Well, he can do animals, so let's throw down some animals. going to be a little bit difficult because a lot of these animals require plants, so we'll just have to avoid those, hopefully. Alright, what, what are you guys going to throw down? Right. Okay, so the school challenge. Minerals. Nice. Okay, child labor. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, 15 wealth and 15 tech for each mineral within borders. Alright, so we need you over here to go ahead and throw down some animals. Frogs need elderberries. We don't want frogs to have elderberries. Otters need plants. Man, you guys are not making this very easy on me. It's gonna have to be one of the desert villages. It's gonna have to be. Alright, what do they need? Tech and food? Alright. Well, get over her then. Go 
to throw down some rocks, actually. The ambassador wants to join us. He's gonna need food and tech. He has enough tech. We don't need plants. It's animal. We need that. Go get her. Could have with minerals too. But. Okay, now we need to keep these guys' prosperity low. So this prosperity is at 127. So we don't want their prosperity to be over. 175. I think that's what that means. That we can have multiple villages, but only one of them can have. Finish an era with only one village, which has 175 prosperity. I might be reading that wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. And really, the way you tell their prosperity is you take all three of their their things and you add them up. Like whatever whatever is in use. So like right now, see they have 38 food, so they have 38 prosperity. These guys have 13, 15, and 13, so those add up to be 43. And they're getting too much wealth. So they're turning greedy. But, we need 100 prosperity total in the world for a new nomad. So we might not even be able to get 6 towns, to be honest. Okay, that is plant. We do not need it. Oh, yeah, we, we, we're using animals. Derp. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. So, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and throw down some exotic animals right here. Uh, they need plants, but fuck that, we're not doing it. We need the predator aspect. this only animals and minerals, uh, this will be the place that does it. Should be relatively tall and short. Thing. Who else? Okay, what does your desert ambassador give you? Animals? The hunt aspect. Hunt and predator. Okay. How about you? Desert gives you monsoon. Don't really need it. So let's actually go ahead and set up another desert village with this other nomad. Forty-six, thirty, and nine. I think those are accurate representations of those cities. Forty-six, eighty-two. Oh, it has all three of them. Okay. Okay, you can't have any more anything. You are just stuck where you're at. 
sorry. 39. Alright. Okay, and we'll see what they start. Hopefully it'll be another tool shop. Minerals. So it could be this place too, but we don't want them to compete. Uh, I do want this place to be completed though. It's bonuses for each mineral, so we'll actually go ahead and throw down some topaz. You guys left who don't have ambassadors, and they both need it. All right, we got another nomad roaming the planet. So this guy's going to get a desert ambassador with the hunt aspect. This guy... Requires one swamp, one desert. Oh, that's just to get to level 2. One swamp and any other ambassador. One desert and any other ambassador. Someone else started a challenge. The mill over in New Peak. Well, guess who's not getting that finish in New Peak? You can suck it. <sighs> okay. It'd be nice if I could make this... Okay, what is their prosperity at? 60. Let's start upgrading stuff. What can, what can I upgrade? Maybe Topaz. Do I have the Noble Aspect? Not I need the desert. The noble aspect. What about for salt? Seismic. Don't have that either. I need a swamp ambassador. Alright, well, I think we need to make another. Right here, I think? Yeah, maybe a little bit farther this way. Approach a little bit on this land, but we'll go ahead and throw down another swamp. Light them. Yeah, you're not getting that finished either. I'm sorry. I have to ignore all these great projects. Okay, what can I do? The herd aspect. I have the herd aspect. And it'll increase food, but they need plants to do it. The armadillo gets the hunt aspect. Do I have that? Ah! Uh -huh. Uh, it does! Alright, so get over here. And we're going to fertilize and then hunt aspect this armadillo. A kangaroo rat into an armadillo. I need to try to get someone to level 2 without actually doing anything. You know, get people's what's it's too high. Mine and range. So we'll actually go ahead and throw down. Another wealth. Uh, no, let's go ahead and throw down this. A stone. No, don't do anything. Just hold still. What does stone need to upgrade? Crystal reaction. I have neither of those. 
because I need another forest. I need a forest for both. Uh, also, give me another swamp. Uh, you give me another forest. Potent exotic aspect. I don't have that either, do I? I have the predator. Oh wait, yeah I do. Do it. Upgrade this thing to whatever this is. Yeah. Plus five wealth if the gray fox has at least five wealth. <laughs> okay. There's more room for another animal up here. Alright, so I need another swamp, or do I need another desert? I need a swamp for seismic. What would seismic do for me? Seismic gives me salt. Ah. Noble and crystal. How do I get crystal? The forest. Okay. So let us... Throw out something here. Throw out something here. We're doing okay. These places need more prosperity. This one's getting there. Needs some better boost, though. Is this the new place? This is the new place. Alright, so I need wealth and food. Go ahead and leaf aspect this. Strawberries, and throw down some blueberries. That'll be enough for that. And we'll throw down some exotics. Okay, this is... Okay. Let's focus on this place. This is the place that I need to upgrade. Alright, so we have Martins up here. Those food in danger. Those are all locked, so that doesn't help me at all. Crap. So that's no good. 
Each quartz, agate, or topaz within the border stacks them three times. Uh, I can throw down one more. Let's do this. There we go. Boom. Alright. Let's see if that pushes this over. Okay, we need only one that has 175, so 46. 92, 133 is this one, 56, 39, 17, so it's Warren is the one we're going for, we need 175 prosperity, uh, hopefully this goes faster, wealth is not building very quickly. This took quartz with a great quartz. Ba -ba -boom. Ah man, we're so I, I I think this will actually push us over. Right? 97, 93? Uh that'll be like 190, I think. Once it reaches that. Yeah, so that should do it. And they only have animals and minerals. So that should be those two achievements done. Yeah. Finish an era with a village of 150 prosperity using only animals and minerals. Mineral, mi animal, mineral. Mineral, animal, animal. And finish an era with only one village which has 175 prosperity. Now, I I'm hoping that means only one village has 175 prosperity, and that none of the other villages have over that. Just have to wait and see. We got eight minutes, it's just kind of chill. So. I guess I could always go smash the other villages if I wanted. With the uh, earthquake, there's no one to replace them. Are you just short? You're just short. The geologist is a level two, I think. So you're not getting that. School. We can go ahead and boost these other ones up. I mean, not boost them up, but we can go ahead and do it to where they actually get their uh, their first one started. Although we're about to hit our limit. How many? One, two. Three, four, five. Yeah, so we only get one more uh, ambassador before they stop being impressed with uh, basic projects. Yeah, crap. Well, I could smash someone, but now there's a nomad roaming. Oh, I guess it's what you. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'll upgrade your herbs and your exotic animals. One forest in any. One desert in any. Nice. It'll also give you the reaction aspects. It'll upgrade your animals. Crystal aspect. And 
Play around with that. Let's see what level two boost does. Would you stat? Would you put down them funions and help me pull this bitch? All right. <clears throat> so let's see what level two fertility boost does. Upgrade any patch with a great fertility boost. Alright, well, let's see what that does. Probably should have seen what regular fertility boost did first. Okay, fertility level 2. Progressively raises the chances of getting a better aspect up to greater aspect. Okay, so I wonder if I use a skill that doesn't have the potential to get greater aspect. Like, let's go ahead and use leaf level 1. Oh, except for that's an animal. Do I have an animal? I do have an animal. Let's go ahead and hit it with Hunt. Okay, no. So, it's limited by... So, Fertility Boost Level 2 gives it the chance to get greater aspect, but it's still limited by the type of aspect that you hit it with. So if you only use a level 1 aspect, the highest you can get is a potent. You can't get greater. But you would need the higher fertility boost to get... Well, like, once you have a level 2 skill... Like, let's see, where... Do we have any level 2 skills? He does not. That is unfortunate. I was hoping to kind of see what that... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I was hoping to kind of see what that would do. Saw some, saw some trebuchets in your little speech bubbles there, buddies. But you're not really that greedy. You do have a lot of danger, though. From what? Oh, from these foxes. Danger defenses. Okay, one last quick check just to make sure. 48. 94. 95, that's the one we're going for. 56, 75, 41. The bank challenge has started. Where, Warren? That is the place with a high level. Plus 5 wealth for each natural resource controlled by this village. 50 wealth for each gold, musk deer, and coyote within borders. The second effect stacks up to three times. Bad, 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 bad. Can we even get coyotes? I'm sure we can. I mean, it's a desert, right? But we don't have access to all of our things. Do I have a thing I can hit him that increases his wealth? Yeah, the predator aspect. So let's do that. Just so that we can boost their, uh... <laughs> so if we give the fox at least five... And that should... Ah... There's only the potent. We would need one more to boost it up higher. Or we can just throw down another... Um, exotic animal. Right here. And that should give the fox at least five. Actually, yeah, I don't think I've ever actually shown off, for you guys anyway, I don't think I've shown off any of the desert, or any of the mountain creatures. So that should give the fox five. So the gray fox itself has to produce five 
five wealth in order to get that five extra wealth. That's a little weird. All these ones are locked, so we can't do any of those. We can't upgrade this thing anyway. Um, get some plants on this mountain. We still got some time, I think. 37 seconds. So we got ginger, which upgrades the dragon fruit. I like the way dragon fruit smells. Where are you, buddy? Come on, hurry up. Book it, you only got 13 seconds. Obviously, the wealth on the mountain is uh, agate. And kumquats. Oh, I used wealth instead of... I use this one. It's still just stone. Ooh, a sacrificial altar? I've never actually seen one of these pop up before. Woo! Can I get that again? How do you guys get that? Is it because of the danger? Is that why it popped up? Is it because of the danger? I need to try to remember that. I need to try to do that again. I want I want to do one of these. God of the wild. You must destroy a light dem Where's that at? We got aristocracy. Damn it! I guess it is only just one village period. Okay. Well, that's crap. Plus, that'd make for a really boring video of just me doing one village. Um, but, whatever. So, if we unlock the must here, everybody, we got aristocracy. <laughs> you bastard. So, yeah. Um been another episode of Reuse. Thank you so much for watching and join us next time on Reuse.